World Fertility Day 2020, we asked you, our community, what does infertility mean to you? In either a word or a sentence. And these are the amazing submissions we got from you, some of our strongest warriors. Infertility and I, we're not friends. You leave me waiting, wanting, but denied. Failure. For me, one way that can describe infidelity is frustration. Because we'd be so, so frustrated that what am I doing wrong? Why is my body failing me? Worried? If I could describe my infertility journey with um, just one word, it would be to trust. Um, trust your doctor, trust your clinic, and then just to throw another one in there, it would be um, to have faith, um, because faith always gives you a peace of mind. Infertility hurts. Infertility to me means balance between the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. It means constant hope. It means constant disappointments. But at the end of the day, there is always the hope that this time will be our time. The current miscarriages broke me. Hopeless. Unworthy. Growth and appreciation. Infertility is the most difficult journey I have ever been on, ever. But I would not change for anything and I'd do it all over again. It makes me feel sad and rejected. Like I failed at being a woman. Infertility to me means everything painful. As a woman, being incomplete, the humiliation, the name calling, the abuse. Infertility feels like nobody understands what you're going through. It feels like you are broken. And it's a constant reminder that life is not fair. Ashamed. To me, infertility has no age and it's the journey of a lifetime. It is growing, it is standing up after each failure, and it is taking on each day as a new challenge. As a society, we need to reduce the stigmas and barriers associated with infertility, whether this be because of cultural, ethical, or even religious beliefs. We need to help raise awareness around male and female infertility. Thank you to everyone who submitted their videos and added your voice to this initiative. I think Nelson Mandela said it best when he said, may your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears.